they sent me the script. And I mean, what I thought was so beautiful about the whole thing was that it, it really was a unique thing, that it was this big action movie, but at its heart, it was Miracle on 34th Street. It was a Christmas movie. It was about a little girl who wants to believe in Santa Claus. My friend was in the subway the other day with her kids who are nine and 10 and she was watching it and her kids were all excited and then she was like, is this four kids? And I was like, no, but I wish it was because at the heart of the story, there is this beautiful thing where you see him, Santa and this little girl look into each other's eyes and she believes and she hugs him. But unfortunately there's blood like all over his face from all the ki bad guys he's killed, which I don't think the kids can sit through. Who the hell are you? Boss, what if he really is the There's real? no such thing as Santa. Yeah! Yeah, this is a, to a totally different Scrooge. This is a cursing, killing Scrooge. You know, he's there with a vengeance. He's a disgruntled employee for this wealthy family, and he feels dissed, and he's coming back to punish them. I'm gonna be the most hated character this Christmas. Yeah, no, that was, that was the goal to kind of or, and the fun challenge, okay, how can we, how can we make a Christmas movie? Because I still want it to feel like a Christmas movie, but how can we do something fun and original and edgy within that space? I mean, when I re read the script, I was laughing out loud and I knew I wanted to do it. It was, a, it was a page turn. I read a lot of scripts and I can't even get through them. This one, I couldn't put down. In all the fights, you know, we try to pull in a lot of Christmas elements, decorations, Christmas tree lights. Like we try to really, in any aspect of the film, pull in as much Christmas as possible and twist it around to our own demented fun way. I've never done an action sequence with 50 moves. Like 50 fighting, punching, push, 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 push. I couldn't get out of bed the next day. I was in so much pain. The most important thing for me was that when people leave the theater, I really want them to feel like they've seen a Christmas movie. So to me, it was finding that right tone. Okay, how much of this, how much of that? Because we had a great beating heart of the film, we could do as much as we wanted and get away with it. I thought, wow, if we can do this right, it might work. And so we swung for it, and I, I think it turned out kind of great. <laughs>